to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. So today's tarot reading is going to be a yes or no pick a card. And I know that some of you like to do the intuitive selection and and watch it so that uh, so that you can choose your pile. So go ahead and ask your question in your mind. Ask it of your angels, your spirit guides. You can ask it aloud, however you want, whomever you want, however you're comfortable. Now let's choose some signifier cards for the readings. All right, so you start with Angel Aura Quartz. So welcome group number one. Group number two, Angelite. Wow, we've got lots of angel energy today. All right, group number three, Bloodstone. All right, let's see what that's about. Group number four, Epidote. And... Group number five, Labradorite. <clears throat> All right. So that is going to be the signifier cards for today's reading. We have, ooh, almost pulled the candle off. We have Angel Aura Quartz, Angelite, Bloodstone, Epidote, and Labradorite. For those of you who would like to participate in a short breathing exercise to help hone in with your intuition, we'll start that now. So begin by taking a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Asking your question of your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, one of the crystals or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. The card may just pop a little more than the others. Go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your reading and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number one with the Angel Aura Quartz. Your first message of the reading is to lighten up. So I see this one really as telling you to smile for no reason other than it feels good to smile. You know, just see the beauty in things and take things lightly, take things with a grain of salt. Now, as for the yes or no, you can hold your question in your mind. You can ask it aloud. You can, you know, ask it of your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, the divine, whomever you wish. And let's see what the answer is. All right. One more. 
All right. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show me clearly yes or no to the questions of group number one. All right, you start with the Page of Cups. That's good times. This one wants to come too. Ooh, the Page of Wands. All right. Very nice. Page of Cups, Page of Wands. What else? Ooh, Ten of Wands. Okay. One more. Queen of Cups. All right. So this definitely looks like a yes. You're a little bit overwhelmed in your yes. Let's, um, okay. So, so you got the two pages over here. Now these, all of the court cards can represent someone in the situation that you're asking about. You've got someone who's fun loving, you've got someone who's dedicated and artistic, and you've got someone who's emotionally mature. So take that as it resonates, but, but that's essentially what we're looking at with the court cards being who they are. Now, the Page of Cups talks about fun and socializing in good times. The Page of Wands talks about creativity and, you know, artistry and passion and reunions. The Ten of Wands is a cautionary card. It talks about being overwhelmed. So someone in this situation feels very overwhelmed with whatever you're asking about. Now, the Queen of Cups, that talks about being emotionally mature enough to deal with the situation. So yeah, it's overwhelming, but you're mature enough to deal with it. You've got the strength inside you. You just have to really channel it and let it out. Now, I would like to ask for a clarification card, please, for this Ten of Wands. You got a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot, but um, a lot of you are feeling really overwhelmed in your yes. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, this Ten of Wands represents them feeling overwhelmed. What can they do to step out of that? Emperor, all right, take charge. So you need to take charge of the situation. You need to take charge of, you know, yeah, whatever situation you're asking about, you need to take charge in that situation because that's what the emperor talks about. It talks about a real strong, you know, you stepping into your own, you knowing what to do and taking the reins and taking, you know, kind of life by the horns. So you got a beautiful yes to whatever you asked. You'll stop feeling so overwhelmed if you just take charge of the situation and uh, and really throw some light into it. You know, smile, just be happy. This is a blessing. Whatever is coming to you is a blessing. Now, let's take a look and see what the angels have to add. So, angels, using the angel inspiration deck, what additional messages? Well, that's, they're just all upside down. Okay. What additional messages are there for group number one. All right, you get forgiveness. Okay, so somebody needs forgiveness. You may need to forgive yourself. There may be forgiveness needed between these players in a lot of situations. You know, they're, you know, there's just a lot here situation wise as far as relationships um you know these could be siblings here with you know parents or parents dealing with children or this could be you know dealing with a romantic interest versus a creative interest you know there's there's lots of situations here but somewhere there needs to be forgiveness and that could include forgiveness of yourself. Now, what else would the angels like to add? Courage. Okay, you have the courage to really step into this emperor, okay? You can do it. You can step into your own. You just need to really let yourself, let yourself, you know, let yourself take things by the reins. Let yourself 
you know, follow that intuition, follow your heart, follow your gut, follow what you think, you know? Not that you shouldn't get advice from others. I'm just saying, you know, follow your instincts. Now, you are never alone, okay? So with this socializing, you some of you may be, you know, wanting to have more social things, uh, needing that socialization more. You are never alone. This talks about your spirit guides being there. So when you are kind of craving that need to interact, you can interact with your spirit guides. You can, you know, have conversations, you know, tell them your thoughts, you know, tell them your prayers, whatever it is you want to talk to them about and then ask them to guide you and they will. Now, anything else from the spirit guides? You get patience as a virtue. All right, so with this forgiveness, sometimes it takes a minute to forgive, whether you're forgiving someone else or yourself. It still takes a minute sometimes. Patience is a virtue. Patience is something, oh, selenite fell out of the bag. I use selenite to keep the cards cleansed. All right, so for queen of the moon, I would like to see what additional message there is for this Queen of Cups out of Queen of the Moon. Beginnings. All right, so you're starting something new, something that you are emotionally strong enough for. You know, the, the gender of all the cards should be ignored. That, you know, that Queen of Cups can represent you regardless of your gender. So can the Page of Wands, regardless of your gender. You know, this is a new beginning. It's, uh, there's lots of relationships involved in this pile. You know, some of them are creative. Some of them are passionate. Some of them are friendships. But, uh, but there's lots of relationships. And for you to stop feeling overwhelmed, you need to really take the situation in control is what this emperor is saying. You need to, you need to be in control of it. Now, for this page of wands, what does Moonology have to add? A new start is coming. Look at that. You've got two different moon decks saying you've got a brand new beginning. You've got new moons, beginnings, a new start is coming, the new moon. So, yeah, you are definitely starting something new. It is going to be beautiful, wonderful, fantastic. You got a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. Now, let's add a little star seed message to finish up. So... From the star seeds for the star seeds, and you do not have to be a star seed for this to resonate. All right, let's see what group number one has. Strength. You are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. All right, so solid yes to whatever you ask, Tarot. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number two with the angel light. Your first message of the reading is that support is all around you. So whether you get a yes or a no, you've got lots of angelic support. All right, let's take a look. And it's not just angels, it's spirit guides, ancestors, the universe. Support is all around you. All right, now hold your question in your mind. Ask it of your spirit guides, angels, ancestors. And let's take a look and see whether the answer will be yes or no. All right. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, please answer clearly yes or no to group number two's questions. All right, you start with the Four of Cups. Ooh, and the Three of Swords. And the Chariot. All right, so this looks like a no, but things are moving quickly. Um, some of you were looking for a no. This is a very clear, very concise no. Some of you, the no kind of breaks your heart with this Three of Swords being here. 
Um, there's some boredom in the Four of Cups. There's also looking at what you wish you had versus what you actually have. But the chariot is fast moving. The chariot says things are going to move quickly and you're going to be out of this phase of whatever, you know, whatever unfortunateness there is in the situation that you're asking about. But you did get a no. Now, I would like some clarification, please, for this Four of Cups. Why is this Four of Cups specifically here? All right, the magician. Okay, so you are capable of manifesting whatever it is you want. You can't, if you wanted a yes, you can have one. You can manifest it. You just, you have to step out of whatever these feelings are. Now for this three of swords, this is heartbreak. This is a broken heart. You know, this is sadness. Now for this three of swords, what can they do to step out of this? Queen of Cups. All right, so you are emotionally strong enough for whatever it is you're going through. Now, the chariot was things being fast moving. So what the, the chariot brings in blessings, yes? Three of Wands, yes, blessings. All right, beautiful. Three of Wands is good news. It's travel. It's, you know, a, a good phase. I, I knew that it was going to bring in good things. Like, you got to know to whatever you ask tarot, but you're plenty strong enough to deal with it. You can manifest whatever it is you want and things are moving quickly to a much better place with the three of wands. Now let's see what the angels would like to add to this particular reading. So again, just reiterating because sometimes people uh, say that I you know, don't say it clearly. Uh, this one is definitely a no to whatever you ask tarot. So the spirit guides are saying no, but you're also being told if you want it, you can manifest it. All right, so the angels would like to add cooperate. So cooperate with the universe, cooperate with your angels. They're trying to help you in whatever situation is causing you distress. Now you also get show justice. All right, show justice can also be about balance. So show justice to yourself, be fair. Give yourself a break. If you're heartbroken, if you're sad, if you're lonely, if you're whatever it is you're feeling, you know, you have to feel what you're feeling. You have to go through it. It's part of this journey that we're on, but the sad feelings are not going to last too long with that chariot. So show yourself some justice, cut yourself a break, bring in some balance, however you want to do that. Now let's see what the spirit guides have to add. All right, so spirit guides for group number two. You get abundance is your right. All right, so if the answer was no to some question regarding abundance, abundance is your right. It's just not happening the way that you particularly asked. Now, let's see what else. Choose love over fear. All right, yeah, no, you're being told to choose love over fear, and sometimes that's really hard. Because fear is a base emotion that we're all born knowing how to experience. And, you know, it is, it is an emotion that can be overcome with love. So show yourself some love. Show whatever situation you're asking about some love. Let this heart break. You know, feel it and then let it go. All right, now for the magician and the boredom and the manifesting of what they want, what does Moonology have to add? Step out of your comfort zone. All right, so you're being told to manifest what you want and step out of your comfort zone. It may not be exactly the way you expect it. When you're manifesting, things just, uh, you know, they, they are what they are. You know, sometimes the universe does things in really strange ways, but it's more beautiful than you could have possibly anticipated. All right, so for Queen of the Moon, this Three of Wands, this beautiful time here, you get discernment. All right, so use your discernment. Let these good times come in. Really see the things that you're blessed with and count your blessings. Now, for the Queen of Cups here, you get attraction. All right, yeah, you're being told to manifest. You can manifest whatever it is you want. The universe is going to do it the way the universe does it but you can manifest it. Now let's see what the star seeds have to add for group number two. 
All right, so from the star seeds for the star seeds, and you don't have to be a star seed for this to resonate. Wow. Strength was the same thing I got for the last reading. Uh, you're being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. So even with your no, things are going to come out positive. Now, I'd like another card for, you know, I'd like to actually shuffle these. Hang on one second. That was just so strange to get the same message out of so many cards. Now... Let's see here. Anything else from the star seeds? All right, you get surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in this present moment. So that's kind of what I was talking about with the manifestation. You know, it may not be exactly the way you are anticipating it, but it is going to happen for you if you just surrender and cooperate with the universe. So for those of you that were looking for a no, congratulations. For those of you that got a no and were really hoping for a yes, I'm sorry, but congratulations on the reassurance that you can manifest what you want and, uh, and go after it. You have the strengths. Just surrender your need to control the whole thing. All right, that is all I have for group number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number three with the bloodstone. Your first message of the reading is to get up and get moving. So, yeah, that uh, is pretty clear. Get up, get moving. Whatever situation you're asking Tarot about today, it is time to, you know, to take action, to, to get up, to get going. Now, let's hold your question in your mind. And, or you can ask it aloud of your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, whomever you'd like to ask it of. And let's take a look and see if you get a yes or a no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number three, please answer clearly yes or no to their questions. All right, you start with the palace of coins, beautiful. And the hanging man. So some of you need a different perspective. Some of you are asking with timings and there's a delay to that. And then find, oh, but it's a dream come true. So you get a yes to whatever you ask tarot. It's, you know, you've got this palace of coins. So a lot of you are asking about abundance. Now it's time to get up and get moving and bring this in. You know what you need to do. There are some delays for some of you and some of you need a different perspective with the hanging man, but you've got dream come true coming through with the nine of cups. So you got a beautiful yes to whatever you ask tarot. Now let's see what the angels have to add to your reading. So angels specifically using the angel inspiration deck, please add whatever messages you have for group number three. All right, you get step into the light. So you're being told again to take action. You know, sorry, this deck is, is brand new, so it's sliding all over the place. Um, step into the light and let's see. Silence your thoughts. All right, so take some time, meditate, really see what's going on and uh, with yourself, inside yourself, and, you know, really step into your own light. So take some time, see your light, and then step into that light. But you did get a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. Now let's take a look at what the spirit guides have to add for group number three. So spirit guides, you're told to journey within. I'm going to put that with silence your thoughts because that's another advice to meditate. 
You guys really need to take some time, meditate, hear your inner voice. It's going to bring in this abundance that you're asking about. You're going to just see how it should work and then it'll work that way. Now you get inspire others. So step into your light and inspire others. Now let's see with Moonology and this Palace of Coins. So for Moonology, for the Palace of Coins, what additional message is there to add to that Palace of Coins? All right, you get hold your vision. So whatever it is you're wanting, whatever it is you're hoping to manifest, to step into, to be blessed with, hold that vision. It's coming to you. Now for this Nine of Cups, this dream come true, what is there to say? Adjustments are required. All right, so there's just some time frame issues. Like some of you are saying, hey, am I going to have this within the next week? Am I going to have this within the next month? And you've got adjustments being required. You've got the hanging man. So there are definitely some delays to the situation. Now let's take a look at Queen of the Moon and see what can be done about the hanging man with regards to the delays or you know what different perspective is needed. Now you get protection. All right, so really protect yourself. Don't, don't throw caution to the wind with this need for a different perspective. Really analyze things in the situation, but know that your dream come true is coming. It's, you know, that's what the Nine of Cups is. It's a dream come true. Now, so for the star seeds, from the star seeds, just to round out the reading, and you do not have to be a star seed for this to resonate. All right, so let's see here. Dreams. The universe speaks to you through your dreams. All right, so you need to listen when the universe is talking to you. And also, light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. This step into the light, yeah, you're being told to reveal your light to the world. So really be who you are, and that's going to help you step into this abundance that you want. But it's time to get up and get moving. So, you know, change your perspectives where they need to be changed. But know that, you know, the universe is talking to you and they, the universe just wants you to take some time, meditate, and then step into that light. All right, that is all I have for group number three. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number four with the epidote. Your first message of the reading is to go deeper. So somewhere in what you're asking, there's the need to explore just a little bit deeper. All right, now you can hold your question in your mind, ask it aloud of your angels, spirit guides, ancestors, and we will take a look at whether you get a yes or a no. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us clearly through the cards, yes or no to the questions of group number four. All right, you start with the eight of coins, so hard work, but being rewarded for it. And the two of coins, so making decisions about where you spend your money. And the four of cups. All right, so there's a little bit of boredom, but this is definitely a yes. Um, lots of you asking about money things, some of you asking about work things, promotions, that sort of thing. Um, this two of coins has a decisions in it. This Four of Cups talks about looking at what you wish you had versus what you actually have. So just make sure you're showing gratitude as you try to bring in whatever it is you're, you're hoping to, to manifest or receive from the universe. You did get a yes, and, and like I said, lots of you talking about money. Now, let's see what the angels have to add to the reading for group number four. So angels, using the angel inspiration deck, please deliver whatever message you have for group number four. All right, you get Archangel Raguel. So Archangel Raguel is the Archangel of Fairness. So for those of you are, that are asking, 
you know, am I going to get this promotion? Am I going to get this job? I've put in all this hard work. You know, am I going to get whatever this is? The answer is yes. Archangel Raguel is making sure things come out fairly. You guys also get embrace change. So some things are changing. You know, this boredom right here is, you know, changing. There are things that have to change and that's why you're making decisions. So just embrace the changes that are out in front of you because they're all for good things. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add for group number four. So spirit guides, what additional messages are there for group number four? You are never alone. Okay, yeah, no, you have spirit guide, angel, assistance all the time. And your beliefs are right for you. So if you don't believe in angels, that's fine. Your beliefs are right for you. You know, everyone's entitled to their own beliefs, their own decision. And, you know, we, we're we all just in this together. And none of us really know much more than anybody else. So it's okay. Just believe whatever makes you feel comfortable but know that you have support and guidance around you. All right. Now, for this eight of coins, this hard work, what is there to add? A new start is coming. So those of you asking about new jobs, absolutely, it is coming. Now, for this four of cups, how do we deal with that? It's a time for healing. So when you're looking at what you wish you had, be thankful for what you actually have and let yourself heal. Some of you have been hurt somewhere and you're dreaming of something that, that you've lost. Just give yourself some time to heal. Now, let's see what Queen of the Moon has to add for these decisions in the Two of Coins. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, using the Queen of the Moon deck, please show us what information they need regarding these decisions on the two of coins discernment all right yeah so use your discernment you know what good decisions there are for you you know you know what the right decision is in whatever situation you're in so just use your good discernment trust yourself now let's see what the star seeds have to add for group number four so star seeds for the star seeds from the star seeds and you do not have to be a star seed for this to resonate Ooh, you get choice by staying conscious in your thoughts you guide your journey in the direction of choice all right so make good decisions take yourself into this new beginning it's going to be a beautiful wonderful beginning and uh, let go of what's lost let yourself heal be grateful for what you have Know that Archangel Raguel is making things fair. So embrace the changes that come in because they're all for this new start. All right, that is all I have for group number four today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number five with the Labradorite. Your first message of the reading is to see the magic. So yeah, let's see the magic. All right, hold your question in your mind and or ask it of your spirit guides aloud, whatever you need to do, whatever you want to do, whatever makes you feel comfortable now let's ask the angels ancestors and spirit guides angels ancestors spirit guides please answer clearly yes or no for group number five all right so four of cups there's some boredom but you are beginning the fool's journey all right. And you're fighting for what you want, but you're assured to win. All right, what's the final outcome? Yes or no? Knight of Cups. All right, so the answer to your question is yes. There's some boredom for some of you that you're having to deal with and looking at what you wish you had versus what you actually have. Some of you got proposed to and it wasn't quite what you wanted it to be. It wasn't the 
um, fairy tale proposal and you're dealing with that, you're fighting for whatever relationship you have in that scenario and um, just, uh, just know that everything's going to work out okay. Now, whatever you ask Tarot, whether it's about a relationship, whether you are in a relationship, you know, whatever it is, you got a yes, just, you know, really focus on gratitude for what you have and know that where you're putting your energy, where you're putting your fight, you will win. All right, now you got a yes to whatever you asked. Let's see what the angels have to add to your reading. All right, angels, using the angel inspiration deck, what additional messages are there for group number five? Archangel Jophiel, she's the Archangel of Joy. So joy is coming in for you. This is beautiful. And uh, let's see, ooh, Archangel Michael. Wow, you've got Archangels coming out of the deck. There's only eight Archangels in this whole deck. And you've got two of them coming out in your reading. So you are definitely being guided by angels. Everything's gonna work out okay. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add. You know, I just, I want you to know you're protected with Archangel Michael and you've got joy coming in with Archangel Jophiel. All right, let's see what the spirit guides have to add. Calm is not a weakness and practice moderation. All right. Oh, I almost threw it off the desk. All right, calm is not a weakness and practice moderation. Okay, so be calm, let things come in, practice moderation, but know that you are protected. Um, Archangel Michael is also about cord cutting. So if you're feeling really overwhelmed, maybe some cord cutting. Now, let's see. For this Four of Cups, what does Moonology have to add for the Four of Cups? All right, you're told what do you need to release. So what do you need to let go of to really appreciate what you have now and, you know, to stop the wishing for what you wish you had just, yeah, whatever you need to release, let it go, get it out of there, ask Archangel Michael for help, and it'll, it'll pass. Now, for this Knight of Cups, your dreams need a practical plan. All right, this Knight of Cups can signify a romantic proposal. It, uh, it's not a really super fast-moving energy, so some of you are asking, will I get married? Will this happen at some point in the future? The answer is yes, it will. Um, but whatever it is you're dreaming of, it needs a practical plan. Now, let's take a look and see what the uh, Queen of the Moon has to say for the Fool. Because the Fool is a pretty big step. Like, you guys are at the beginning of something big in your life. Now, from Queen of the Moon, you get protection. So, you are protected on this Fool's journey. No worries. And for this fighting, what what can they do acceptance. All right. You just kind of have to accept that you're going to fight for what you want a little bit, but it is going to come to fruition for you. And you have lots of archangel support. Now, what from the star seeds is there to add for group number five? So from the star seeds for the star seeds, and you do not have to be a star seed for this to resonate. All right. Abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. All right. So some of you are asking about abundance. It's saying serve the people around you, you know, serve humanity, and it's just going to naturally happen for you. Now, what else from the star seeds? Free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without condition. All right, so be a free spirit, serve your fellow human being and abundance doors are gonna open for you. Really enjoy this relationship that is taking you somewhere. Remember to release what you need to release, but know that you are protected and surrounded by the archangels. All right, that is all I have for group number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.